to, to the state that we can't open the disk. It was. I'm shocked, you know. Maybe I set high standards for myself. October, you've got the, <laughs> the information you are preparing for a major case like this. And since October, you don't know the information in the disk. Even today, today, you don't know the information in the disk. I know, the, not so? I know the information so, on the So why do you want it? Uh, it's not relevant. If it's not relevant, then you don't ask any questions which are irrelevant according to your defense. You say it's not relevant. He says it's relevant in terms of the okay. fact that five, at least five numbers, you say, which are encapsulated in the downloading okay. analysis story of Mr. Hose. Then you say it's irrelevant. Fine. So what is the problem? Maybe, maybe uh, I can uh, propose, my lord, that we adjourn until the two, since the state is going to assist us uh, to get the, the, the correct hey, information. What's your time, sir? Hey. Yeah, no. Six, 16 Five. minutes past 12. Do you understand we're done until tomorrow? I'll do it Not because this tomorrow. is how we, no. we, no. we act. No, for the sake of finality, I'm requesting until 2 o'clock this afternoon, Jesus. not tomorrow. Okay, 2 o'clock. <laughs> yes, Mr. Baloy. As a court, please, my lord, there are two issues that stood down. The first one is that of uh, Advocate Nisi regarding the recording. Um, we've indicated to Advocate Nisi that perhaps it's safer to get the transcripts. Hopefully, when we um, resume again, we'll be having the transcripts. Two things that stand out with Mr. Valoy's uh, statement. He said, and I quote, maybe regarding Advocate Nisi, regarding the recordings, maybe it's safer to get the transcript. Safer? What does he mean by safer? Why can they not play the recording? I mean, even I can play them the recording. <laughs> Firstly, and so Rada said this in the previous court session that he doesn't want that um, evidence is being planted. Why is he suggesting a transcript as being safer? No, we want to hear the witness say what he said. Um, did he say all five were linked in the communication or he did not? Why can we not listen to him say it word for word? Because that man was really adamant. And Nisi as well is also adamant. So who is correct? The other thing that stands out in Advocate Valois' shocking statement, the other thing is that after he says that, none of the defense object to receiving a transcript. Am I overlooking things here? Uh, so what are your thoughts on this, Mzansi? Comment down below. Should they get a transcript or should we listen to the recording? Surely the state can figure out how to play a recording on speaker at some point. Or should we assist them out? Like, this is highly, highly strange for me. But let's continue listening. But let me tell you something. You know, sneak peek, Valo is going to try and get a four-day weekend, as in no session on Friday and Monday, because he wants to come back on Tuesday. Advocate Valo, where are you trying to go? We're trying to solve this case and move on to 375. But Valo is stalling. Why? Here we go. Then the second issue regarding the uh, packaging of um, the, uh, the Section 205s as requested, um, that will take a bit of time, a lot. Um, we request that we stand down until Tuesday, and um, hopefully the information will be, then be ready. Next week, Tuesday? Yes. And hopefully the information will what? We, we will then be ready, my lord. Who will be in, ready? in fact, would have been finished by the defense before then. The what? That we, we will make our best endeavors, my lord, to supply the information to the defense in the manner that they request before okay. Tuesday. Is that the agreement, Mr. Mumon? Uh, firstly, uh, I, wish, I wish to clarify, my lord, that uh, the, 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 the records that were provided with are not for the numbers, the numbers that I've referred to. Um, so I, I cannot take uh, proper instructions and in order to formulate a proper defense. Yeah, but I'm just in saying, respect of my is client. that the arrangement now? Yes, uh, during uh, the, before the court resumes, my colleague for the state did indicate that uh, they are still making arrangements 
so that they can provide us with the requested information. So the matter will stand down regarding that exigence until Tuesday, you say? Indeed, what will be the date on Tuesday? 23rd, my lord. What? 23rd of April. 23rd of April. Yes. Okay, fine. In the meantime, what do we do? We are Jen. Yes. I'm told there are no other issues that can be conversed until the information is received. Did you have any other witnesses? I'm sorry. Did you have any other witnesses besides Mr. Um, no, Holmes? my lord. It's not, not for today. So Mr. Holmes must return when? On Tuesday, my lord. Will it suit you, Mr. Holmes? Mm. I'm, I'm not available on Tuesday. I've got a very old matter at the regional court that I need to go and attend to. And in fact, the initial arrangement was that Mr. Hose should be here tomorrow so that I finalize my cross-examination on him based on the aspect that I wanted to complete it. So I don't know where does this issue of a Tuesday that the matter should then be rolled over if a Tuesday comes from. But in any event, on Tuesday, I'm going to request somebody to stand in for me because I'm not available. Mr. Bloy, are you listening? Yes, indeed, my uh, we, we We don't have a problem should we continue tomorrow. I explain to Advocate Nisi that it will serve no purpose just to come tomorrow for a few minutes, that we should rather stand down to date when all the information is available and we can make meaningful progress. If he's not available on Tuesday, I don't know if he's available on Monday, maybe, or Wednesday, um, so that we can then continue. So when should they postpone the case to? To the 23rd, as you guys are, are agreeing, regarding the records of the 208, oh, 205, is it? My lord, if maybe I can respond in, in respect of accused number five, my lord. Yeah. My lord, I think uh, until Tuesday, the 23rd, will uh, will be suitable to us to get the required section 205 records so that we'll have time to go through the records before we resume with our cross examination okay as the court means yeah but then it's fair that mr host should come on tuesday on the 23rd makes sense Be because you have been referring to section 205 applications uh, my lord i can't uh, testify about the 205. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sure. Yeah. We don't want to listen to what they say about the 205. I'm on the shelf phone analysis. <laughs> but they are asking you about that. Yeah. You're, you've already told this court that you never did the applications for 205. That's right. Uh, but they've been cross-examining you with, in terms of 205. Uh, am I right, sir? That's correct. So please come. <laughs> on the 24th, then. 23rd. The matter is postponed to the 23rd. Mr. Post. It will come on the 23rd. No, so, that was this meeting, so what? Yeah, your excuse, Mr. Fox. What are we doing tomorrow, sir? We're not sitting tomorrow and Monday. Why? Why? Why not? Well, um, well, we just want to dispose of uh, the, you know, this issue. Um, if if um, we have to sit tomorrow, my lord. Um, I don't know if my other colleagues. If it's fine with my other colleagues, but uh, we, we don't have a problem. We, we, we can sit tomorrow. Yeah, let's sit. I, I, I just thought that it will make sense to gather all the information and then continue from... You don't have any other witness, in other words? Um, we, we can get a witness for, for tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Friday? Yes, Friday. So you want us not to work on Friday and even on Monday? And, and, and resume on Tuesday. And just and finalize, Tuesday. And just finalize this, this witness, my lord and then continue with, with other witnesses. No, 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 we must sit tomorrow. The JP is very worried about the procrastination and the waste of wasting of time about this case. As and I agree with you. A lot of wasting of time, like today. For one hour we're sitting, doing nothing, As a hoping that this machine will tell us, according to Mr. House, it will tell us that he was referring to accused number five. And according to Mr. Mnisi, his, his client is saying, he's putting it to Mr. Hose that it was in respect of accused number two that is said there was linkages.
Th that's in order we... we and we that's, that exigency, you know, is so, so simple. You just keep your visions and then you wait for the typed uh, record. Because neither party is prepared to concede that it is wrong. Okay. So we're sitting tomorrow. As a good business. Please. And there you have it, Mzansi. Advocate Nisi has to be somewhere else on Tuesday. But did you notice how it's like he didn't say he wasn't going to be there? Everybody else, including the defense team, just went about their day and continued on. So how does this work? Because Nisi is the one who needed to talk to the cell phone expert right here because he's the one who caused the um, request for the recording. And then now... If the recording isn't there today, just did not make sense to me. For me, it felt like they were not um, taking his absence into consideration. Literally, they all just went about their day. Ngome Zulu is extra quiet today. But uh, yeah, that's literally what the day looked like. But what I wanted to highlight as well is Baloi trying to get out of work or should I say coming to court Friday and Saturday so that they can prepare the CD for the defense that Ngumalo is like, I cannot proceed to cross-examine this witness because I do not need what I need so that I can cross-examine the witness because, hello, how am I expected to prepare? And Rada's like, well, you don't really need that information, which for me was kind of a little bit shocking to hear a judge say that. But let's talk about Judge Rada's body language. First of all, he brings to our attention rather that the JP is very worried about the procrastination of this case and that he agrees with the JP as well. Well, you know, you know what? Kudos to Rata. They are sitting today so that this continues on. Mr. Baloi, you're just going to have to find a witness because what are we doing till Tuesday? Good move on Judge Rata's part. Great move. But let's go and talk about his body language because the sh it's the body language for me. It is quite shocking. Remains extremely unprofessional. But today he's flickering that pen loudly when Mumalo added his objection that he still hasn't received even though we've gone for a recess we've come back and we promised that by two o'clock everything will be fine but we're coming back and guess what we still cannot open the cd and you know he starts hitting the pen loudly if i can add uh, flickering the pen flickering the pen loudly which is a sign of frustration and then he's rolling his eyes he's throwing his hands he is showing clear frustration he's like okay fine when do you guys want us to 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 come back because clearly nothing is happening here so yeah your thoughts on that Mzansi? but first remember to like this video uh, let me know your thoughts on how today went so let me know how everything went what your thoughts are on Nisi and advocate Ramasipili how they performed on yesterday's session what about the witness let me know your thoughts in the comment section below Mr. Witness a cell phone expert is he truly an expert but does he know what's going on or he's just there to read Stein's um, um, documents and not deviate from what he's reading there, um, a.k.a. he cannot apply any knowledge or any thought process or any analysis to the data right in front of him. That's it from us today, Mzansi. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Um, we'll catch you, of course, on our next upload. And if you've made it this far in the video, remember to drop an emoji because you are part of the VIP gang. Thanks so much for watching.